thought I'll write a story locally so I can draw on local resources uh, and people within my, my own circle to, to help make a film. So I started thinking about folk I'd worked with before uh, that I respected and really uh, uh, admire their work. I have enjoyed working with them, trust them. So then I started uh, creating characters that, that were suited to them as well. Number one, he knows the people he's approaching. He picks them uh, really carefully and he's got an instinct about people. Uh, not that they'll do things for nothing, but that he wants to work with them and they've built up a relationship. So there's a real relationship there that he's got with every single person on the cast and the crew and, and the community they worked with. There was that real relationship there. And then uh, just intuitively I, I drew in folk for local uh, folk that had never acted before. Take one, action. Jeez, you're fucking lying to me. You're fucking dead, you pedo bastard. John, fucking use my game, bro. Jesus, wait. Right, stick it on sticks. Um, so what we're gonna do is just get a full uh, sequence. Static. No? Media. Media. Once you make uh, that decision that you're making it, then the sort of the project leads itself almost, and things just happen and fall into place. Loads of coincidences and all that as well. So yeah, as soon as you put your your trust and your yeah, your will into making it happen, then it happens. <laughs> If I had all the money in the world, I don't think I could have sourced a better team eh, with money. So it just shows you that all you need is a little help from your friends, and I count every single one of them as a dear, dear friend for life now. Eh, and as I say, I can't thank them enough. I feel really, really humbled to have such good people round about me. That's the that's key to life, I think. Do you want half five in the morning to go to the co? Do you want this permission? Oh no, thank you. No, thank you. One of the local shops who gave us permission to film before we went at half five in the morning. Just because it's that'll be good. Plan of food. Yeah, I was going to sit me over that amazing. Where's your mum back? Saturday. My brother was gone on holiday for a week in June, so I thought, right, I can use his. House's locations and pretended to him that we wouldn't stay there, we'd just use it for filming, but we all stayed there, wrecked his trampoline and all that, uh, burnt his walls. <laughs> and then my mum was going away for two weeks in July as well, so I'm like, right, we're going to make a feature film in three weeks. to do this, you know I have. Do what thou wilt. Dead. There was a wee stage when I was a, a, a younger guy when I just made the decision to go back into higher education that because I was like working in slaughterhouses and call centres like richer than the film like I was always clever at school and that but no that was that was my world and I wasn't allowed to think that I, I was above that station, working in a call centre. And I was on a spiral, frustrated spiral, you know, so it was like work the call centre, work the factory all week, 12 hour continental shifts, you know, for minimum wage. And then 
fuck, we were taking eckies in the night shift, you know, just to get th through it. Because it was, it was mental, it was t terrible. So I, so then I had a, a name objective, fighting and all that, no bother. I wasn't looking for fights, but they always found me and I would gain the frustration. It's a, a release. Let's go for a battle, you know. Let's go and try and find a shag, you know. But wake up the next morning feeling terrible, feeling empty, feeling ashamed, you know, and then that's the spiral, you know, and it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse because you start hating yourself even more, loathe yourself, and then that just breeds more violence, more drugs. Richard? Richard, can you hear me? I think society, as in our upbringing, schools and all that, don't allow us, a uh, working class, to, uh, to dream, to feel as though we can make a difference in society. Uh, we can be members of parliament, we can make films, jings. It took me getting a degree and travelling the world before I even considered being an actor. This is my favourite subject at school. I was crazy about film since I was two year old. But my drama teacher, well, it says, and Bobby's great, he's really, really, really great. But never once did she tell me I should go to drama school. Fuck's that all but tiny bit behind that, sir. Cool. Oh, has anyone got a yeah. pen? Sorry guys, my cue is here, drink this. Here, drink this soon as this Perfect. I won't voice it though. I won't just hit if you want. Let's see what happens. But no, I'm I'm so good away. Right. Something kinda of takes over and then it's you, you know what I mean, don't you? You know what it's like. You know what it's like doing with them fucking feet. You have fucking feet, though. Get away from me. You're about to start greeting that. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. It's right, sir. Right, sir. Is that aye? There's a world of magic.